Well, coming out first is a very, very interesting girl, Jenny Lee, 33 years old. She calls her style hungry wolf style. Her husband, Panley, has trained some UFC greats like Alan Belcher. He was 24 and three with 23 knockouts uh, 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 just, as a Muay Thai fighter. So if that tells you what kind of striking coach Jenny Lee has, absolutely amazing. Her BJJ coach is Matthew Smith at Nemesis Jiu-Jitsu, who also former V3 Bantamweight champion Michael Walker has been assisting her with conditioning. Her husband, her coach, like we mentioned, is a retired Muay Thai fighter, 25-3-1 with 24 of his wins coming by way of KO. She's been doing martial arts since she was 13, wanted to fight since she was four. She comes in with a one and one record. She was scheduled to fight on a card previously. An opponent got injured, pulled out. She's been ready and willing. We got her a fight, and here she is, making her V3 debut as an Adam Lee. So this is definitely a stylistic matchup as well, the classic striker versus grappler in this, but just knowing the big names that have come from her husband, like Alan Belcher, he's one of my first coaches ever. And when you think of Muay Thai, a couple names come to mind. Typically Anderson Silva, Alan Belcher is a close second, maybe third in that. It's just incredible, really looking forward to this. Just a great matchup. Really excited to see her striking. I've, I've seen some of her videos she's posted online. She is absolute beast. But she's facing probably one of the most conditioned athletes we have on our fight card in Linda Mahalik. Mahalik actually just recently competed in the Boston Marathon, finishing at three minutes, three hours and nine minutes. Was actually the first place for women in Kentucky. She's getting ready for the New York Marathon in November. So this girl is in absolute phenomenal shape, running six minute miles, 10 mile pace, phenomenal. And let's also talk about her fighting accolades. She's a blue belt in 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu. So she's got the conditioning, she's got the Jiu Jitsu, she's got the experience at two and one. Let's see what Linda F109 Mahalik can do. Where would you want to see this fight go? Uh, it, it really depends. If I'm Jenny, then I, if I'm, uh, Jenny Lee, then I, I want to keep this standing. The 10th Planet guys have a funky style. I mean, they're they're not they're known for Eddie Bravo, but the thing is, they do unconventional things and on the ground. Now, if I'm Linda, then on the exact opposite, I want to do. I want to grind her out. I want to put her on the ground, and she's known to doing that. And a couple third round finishes. Really looking forward to see who's going to impose their will here. Well, let's take it to the tail of the tape for our first ever V3 Adam Waite fight. We've got 36, 35 years old versus 33, five foot three, five foot one, two and one record versus a one and one in the Hungry Wolf style versus 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu. Great stylistic matchup. I'm excited to get it started, so let's take it to the cage with Mike Kelly. Legion, this bout is brought to you by Hydrolite. In its separate three, three-minute rounds in the female Adam Wake division. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, the third man in the cage will be Clint Kolosinski. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. She wears the solid black trunks at five foot one. She weighed in at 105.7 pounds. She has an MMA record of one win and just one loss. Representing Team Hungry Wolf, and fighting out of Sherwood, Arkansas, Jenny, Lady Wolf Lee. And across the cage, her opponent fighting out of the orange car. She fights with the black trunks with the red trim. She stands in at five feet, three inches tall. She weighed in 103.2 pounds. She also has an MMA record, two wins and just one loss. Representing AFS Academy, 10th Planet, and fighting out of Richmond, Kentucky. By way of New Milford, Connecticut, make some noise for Linda. 109 Mahalik! Mahalik throwing up those 10 Planet gang signs, man. Eddie Bravo classic right there. You know, I found, I found Linda. She was in Kentucky having a lot of trouble finding fights at her weight. She had people willing to fight her at 110, 105, but you can see she weighed in at 103. So when I told her I had an Adam weight fight, she jumped all over it, got in the car, and came all the way through here. It's a good little right hand coming in. Jenny not really fighting that double leg effectively. 
this is Linda's style. She talked about this when I was uh, talking to her before the fight. She wants to grind you out, and she's got the conditioning clearly to do that, running marathons. She just pressed her up against the cage and really starting to have to fight for that underhook. But to Jenny Lee's credit, she's quickly back up on her feet where she wants to be. Absolutely. She needs to keep uh, fishing for this underhook. A Wrapping up that leg isn't smart. It's going to take it right back down to the mat. There we go. So half guard position, what are you looking for here? Right now, if I'm Ginny, I want to feed that underhook on the far side. That's the first thing you got to do if you're going to stand up. Holding onto the head actually helps them pass the guard. It helps pin you down, your back flat on the mat. And you can see the guard's loose now. Linda slides them out. And right into a full mount here. Looks like she's setting up an arm bar. Again, you got to really work to get those elbows in from here. You don't want to leave those hands up. She um, just tenth planet alone. They will take your arms quickly. So Jenny trying to keep Linda pressed to her body to avoid those shots. Let's see if she can get a reversal here. She's about to give up her back. She needs to, there's already one hook in. If I were her, I'd flatten back out and take that to either quarter guard or half guard. She's definitely got to protect herself here. She's got her arm trapped. Oh, there we go. Good. And a nice, nice reversal here. Now she's in Linda's guard, but again, that this might be a position she wants to be in. This is a good sweep. I mean, it, right now she's starting to set up a triangle. Looks like she's good. She wisely, wisely stands back up. Back up. So let's see if this striking from Jenny Lee can dictate the pace of the fight. But she came right in. Linda drops down to a to a single leg, brings her right back down to the mat. That's one of the big things that uh, it's really hard to do against a good grappler. You never want to box. You actually want to work your kicks, and this is exactly why. It's getting real. Timing on the takedowns is so close and so easy for her. Good side control position, trying to soften her up. I believe she might have her in a gift wrap position where she pins that arm across the face. It does, but the elbow is actually over her face protecting her. So really none of these punches are getting through. Absolutely. But what are, you, what are you setting up there? Uh, a lot of people, especially 10th Planet guys, are known for taking the back from there. They'll actually step over like she has now and push them over in, into their back. And right now, holding onto that wrist is wise, but you can't give up your back. That is a horrible position to be in no matter who you're going against. Right now, just soften her up. She's got so her just 13 seconds left. We hear the 10-second clacker. Looks like we we'll probably go to the second round on this one. Absolutely. Linda really letting her have it towards the end, though. So we're going back to the corner. You're in Jenny Lee's corner. What do you What do you tell her to do? If I'm in Jenny Lee's corner, Ladies the first thing I tell her to do is to keep pressure on her. I want to keep smothering her. I want her to think that the takedown is coming at all times. Looking at the replays coming up here, you can see these takedowns are happening just at almost at will. Now, to uh, Linda's credit, she is really starting to work on that. Uh, Jenny Gen Gen Lee needs to really focus on working those outside kicks, playing a distance game. I would switch to a southpaw stance and just keep those leg kicks coming. You see, Jenny gets the reversal here, gets a sweep, but she doesn't really get anything out of it. She gets up, gets taken right back down, and Linda's just kind of having her way on top on the ground. So Jenny has got to figure out a way to keep this fight standing up. I think she does this with distance, and her corner's going to know that. They give them the void time that they have and the enemy experience. I, I'm almost guaranteeing that's what happens. Here you see in her corner, Pan Lee, who's also her husband. It's a pretty good way to have, find a coach right there. And you see back there those champion V3 champion banners hanging up. Those are awesome. Jenny just throws that straight. She defended that well with a wizard. She turned, but then she rolled back onto her back, and now she's in a bad position here. Using that butterfly hook effectively, though. Good way to keep it from mount. Right now she's got her in or half guard. Let's see if she can maintain, but it looks like she's just, Linda's just about to pass that. She's, she's got to be really careful putting in people in quarter guard. Tenth Planet people are known to slip back for some leg locks as and well. Now we're, we're right back into full mount here. Two minutes, 30 seconds left in the round. How did you score the first round? Uh, I, I absolutely had to give that one to Linda. The takedowns were just incredibly effective. She fired them off at will. And uh, so far, it's looking like this round is shaping up to be the same. You know, very, very dominant position here for Linda. 
She's got that single hook in. She wants to get the other one down, but it looks like she's just happy with grinding and pounding it out. Looks like, looks like Clint's going to step in and, and, and stop this fight. There's the right call. Linda, absolutely phenomenal athlete. Great sportsmanship from these two ladies. V3 fights first. Adam Weight title, uh, Adam Weight bout. I think we could have someone in this cage that could be the future of the Adam Weight division, and that's Linda Mahali. Her, I mean, just, she just shows you exactly what a good ground game looks like. You can't try and box somebody who's willing to take you down. You have to work those kicks. And she, and to Ginny Lee's credit, she tr came out firing, but that's what I have a textbook right there, Tim Flames Girl. Well, let's make this one official. Here at the V3 Cage in Meatwood Hall, we present the official time of one minute in round number two. Referee Clint Kolosinski calls a halt to the bout due to strikes. To claim your winner by TKO victory, Linda F109!